is time to start the finals. Please welcome your quiz master, Lloyd Saldana. <laughs> Hello and a very warm welcome to Wipro Erdian Sustainability Quiz, the 8th edition. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last 7 years we've had amazing quizzing on a topic that is very, very serious and very, very now. We've had participants coming from all across India and each of them has come extremely well prepared. Here we are today where we begin the quarterfinal rounds, 8 different quarterfinals. But before that, a little story about the journey. We started off with a prelim with a huge numbers participating from there. We went to a 50% deficit or rather only 50% qualifying. And from there, we moved to a pre quarter final online again. The online pre quarter final gave us 32 top contestants and those 32 would participate in these quarter finals. At the Wipro Erdian Sustainability Quiz, no quiz is easy, no quiz is tough. If you're prepared for it, I'm sure you're going to do very, very well. But before we get there, I need to introduce my quarter finalists. First of my quarter finalists in quarter final one is Richie Mishra from IIM Ahmedabad. Hi, Richie. Uh, hi, Lloyd. <laughs> uh, uh, prepared this time around? I've prepared a bit. Okay. Uh, did you qualify for the semi-finals last year? Yeah. Ah, okay. So that is added pressure on you. So my job is to uh, increase that pressure just because it's fun for me. But jokes aside, a uh, young man who's always prepared last year too, he was very, very well prepared. So best of luck, Rishi. I hope you do very, very well. From Rishi, I'll move on to Amal Krishna KJ from Vidya Academy of Science and Technology, Trishur. Amal, welcome to this quiz. Hello, sir. Thank you. Uh, how does it feel to be a part of the quarter finals, Amal? Yeah, I feel pretty good. I didn't expect I would be reaching this much. Okay. And I'm feeling so much lucky to be oh. part of this. Okay. So, level number one, luck and uh, preparation, I'm assuming that you've gotten yourself here. And uh, at the quarter final level, I'm hoping you'll do really, really well. So, best of luck to you, Amal. And uh, make sure you get those points in. From Amal, I will move on to my third participant, Pawan Kumar Reddy from Sri Venkateshwara College. Pawan, welcome to the quarterfinals. Thank you, sir. How does it feel, Pawan? Are you prepared? Uh, it was great, sir. Like, I am a bit prepared. Like, it was my first time. Okay. So, on the first attempt, he's made it to a quarterfinal. It's not a small achievement. Congratulations on that in the first place. And I hope you really, really do well. Okay, Pawan? So, best of luck to you. Yes, sir. And my last contestant here is Harsh Gupta from Triple IT Kotaim. Yes, sir. Thank you for welcoming me. And smile a little, Harsh. Don't be so serious. Yes. I understand the topic is serious, but we are not serious people. Let's enjoy ourselves. And uh, are you prepared for it? Yeah, a bit prepared and a bit like uh, luck. Luck and preparation. Let's see where luck and preparation takes Harsh. That then, ladies and gentlemen, is my first set of finalists at quarter final one Wipro Erdian Sustainability Quiz, the eighth edition. So from here, it's all about quizzing. It's all about how fast they are on the buzzer. It's all about how many points they can score. And it's all about who qualifies. Let me break this down for you in a bit. We have two segments here today. The first of the segments is Erdian Sustainability, which is generic sustainability questions. 15 of them where it is plus 10, minus 5. Plus 10 if you get it right, minus 5 if you get it wrong. Only the first person on the buzzer gets a chance to answer the question. The second segment is Erdian Sustain Tech, which is a sustainable technology or clean technology and uh, the world around it. 10 questions, points remain the same, plus 10, minus 5. Whoever goes fastest on the buzzer, only they get a chance to answer. And uh, since we are playing online buzzers, I'm sure all of you will know who went first to 
my system will also tell me who went first so don't worry about that uh, i'm not going to be partial trying to give somebody else a chance to answer everybody knows who went first on the buzzer and only that person gets a chance to answer my request to all four of you do not be in a hurry sometimes you are under the impression that you've gone on the buzzer and it is your turn to answer you do not wait for the quiz master to tell you that it's your turn to answer thereby actually spelling out the answer which means whoever has the right to answer because they are the fastest gets an opportunity still to answer the question so if you passed on an answer don't come back to me and tell me so he heard my answer and he uh, gave the answer that's not my problem you are all old enough we are not fourth and fifth standard school kids i'm hoping you are all old enough to understand that rule and one last rule i will is more of a repetition of a rule guys until i tell you it's your turn to answer don't jump it I can there are only four participants I can't jump and go to somebody else in the queue whoever is first in the queue is the only person that gets that chance so please hold your horses till I get there another part to it the huge uh, story around sustainability it's not an issue it's not a problem it's a story around sustainability quizzes is sometimes people tend to uh, give a story as an answer when they're not very precise with what they're trying to answer I will allow that but unless and until i get a full answer from you guys i might give you only plus 5 okay i'm giving that out as a rule before i start the quiz itself don't come back to me later and say my answer was 70% correct 80% correct if it's not a complete answer you will get only a plus 5 if it's uh, less than a 50% answer i will just give you a minus 5 give you the answer out and just move on to the next question anybody has any doubts no No, no. Nobody's got doubts. Okay then. Best of luck to all of you. Quarter final one of Wipro Earth and Sustainability Quiz, the eighth edition. Best of luck, guys. We will start with the first of my segments. It's called Earth and Sustainability. Here it comes. <laughs> Uh before I get into the segment and uh, give you the point system I've already told uh, the rules and regulations so I, I'm hoping you all don't need another explanation everybody's good Okay all four of them good but I do have a problem Amal can you just check your phone Yeah Hi sir Yeah okay and uh, Amal can you try your buzzer one time for me please Okay I'm clearing the buzzer because Okay because you had been logged out so i'm just trying just make sure uh, none of your phones have uh, the system lock on remove the system lock for the next 30 minutes because every time the system lock comes in your buzzer will get disconnected so before we start let's just make sure that happens because i do not want that to be a handicap for you during the quiz everybody is ready Okay, Amal, your buzzer is working. Okay, all good on the buzzers. All good on the uh, system. Everybody knows the rules. It's plus ten, minus five. Only one person gets a chance to answer. Whoever was first on the buzzer. Best of luck. Question number one coming up for you. Simple and easy. It's a visual question. Uh, can we just go to the next slide? Yes. Stop there. Yeah, I knew this is what will happen. Wait for it. Wait for it. I knew this is happen with quizzes. Don't be in a hurry. At least let me show you the question. Okay, before I continue, I want I want a clarification from you guys. You want me to ask you the question first and then show you the visual or just show you the visual and start asking the question? Because whoever show buzzes the show the visual. Okay. But if I'm going to uh, show the visual and then ask the question, whoever buzzes is telling me that you know the answer to the question without me completing my question i will stop the moment somebody presses the buzzer so as soon as the visual comes even if i have not asked the question and you're going for the buzzer that means you know the answer i will not finish my question so just be very careful with it okay question number 1 on your screen here it goes under which yes can we have the question yes under which sdg would you relate this image to Pawan's on the buzzer. Yes, Pawan. You need to unmute Pawan. I think you're on mute. Sustainable cities and uh, development. So, sorry, sorry. Say that again. Sustainable cities and development. I guess. You're guessing on the first question. You're saying you're going to guess. That 
face doesn't look confident. Okay, now the smile is coming out. Okay, it is SDG 11. Make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, reliant, and sustainable. Good answer, Pawan. Plus ten to you. Very, very good answer to start this quiz with. That's that's a nice way to start with. I wanted to do something the light, and we started off with this quiz, and we move on to uh, we got, we've given Pawan ten points on the buzzer. I um, mean on your screen so all of you also know what your scores are in real time okay second question simple and easy question with which company would you relate this visual indian indian organization the brighter plan for 2032 with which indian organization would you relate this I can give you a hint. Think power. Anybody going? Oh, yes, Pawan again on the buzzer. Yes, Pawan. NTPC. Are you answering only because I said power? Yes, sir. At least he's being honest about it. I like that. Sometimes you land up getting guesses and sometimes you use those guesses to make points. Plus 10 to you, Pawan. Very, very nice answer. That is NTPC. Let me clear the buzzers. Question number three. Here we go. It's a text-based question. It's going to come up on screen for you. What refers to the supposed accumulation of debt of the global north to global south countries due to the net sum of historical environment injustice, especially through resource exploitation, habitat degradation, and pollution by waste discharge? I'm literally looking at a two-word answer. Supposed accumulation of debt. What type of debt is it? I mean, those two words, this, okay, someone's on the buzzer. Richie, yes, Richie, you're on the buzzer. Just uh, taking a guess, is it carbon debt? Aye, 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 aye. It, it very clearly says, uh, environmental injustice, especially through resource exploitation, habitat degradation, pollution by what? Habitat and water, what is the other answer that you can think of? The one you've given me is wrong, you're getting a minus five, but I still want you to think. Environment debt, I don't know. Ecolo ecological, ecological, anyway, good try, Richie, good try, minus five to Richie, but uh, that's okay, you've been here before, so don't worry about a single minus five, I'll move on to my next question, question number four, can I have the next question, please, yes, it's a text question, it will come up on screen, this wildlife sanctuary, set up as a sanctuary in 1976 in India, is mainly mangrove scrub, forest and swamp. It is home to a rich population of different species of wildlife such as waterfowl, heron, pelican, spotted deer and the whole list goes on. Which wildlife sanctuary in India am I talking about? Even if you tell me which biological region it's in, very specifically as a biological region, if you can give me that as a generic answer, I will still give you points. Pawan on the buzzer, yes. I'll go with Oliver Tigari Mata Wildlife Sanctuary. Ah, good try, good try, but minus five, minus five. It's not the reason. I would, I would, I would have still given points on the reason is the Sundar ones would have been the region where this is Sajna Kali Wildlife Sanctuary. Sajna Kali Wildlife Sanctuary is what I was talking about, and the predominant part there was the heron, pelican, and spotted deer. Uh, you went on the Olive Ridley alone. You didn't take into account the rest of them. But fair enough, that's okay. At least you went for it, which, I'm, uh, which I like about it. It's a minus five to you though. And the correct answer there is Sajna Kali Wildlife Sanctuary in the Sundarbans Delta. That would have been the right answer. Question number five. Long question, simple answer. Here we go. This is the Sharjah headquarters of waste management operator BEA. B-E-E-A-H. And it's built around 9,000 square meters and constructed using extremely sustainable mat uh, materials. It's got uh, solar panels, Tesla, uh, Tesla battery packs, etc, etc, etc. Simple and easy. Which famous architect is behind this sustainable design? Oh, some uh, Richie. Yes, Richie. So is this Hadith? Uh, uh, unmute, this. unmute, unmute your mic. Uh, I'm audible, right? Yeah, yeah. So is this Hadith, uh, the father of uh, Bill and uh, Sorry, you're breaking up, Richie. Uh, I said Hadid, H A D I D. What Hadid? Uh, uh, maybe uh, he's the father of Bella and Gigi Hadid. Uh, maybe Zui Hadid. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Hadid, you've given me that's more than it's Zaha. 
Yeah. Even the Z you got right, but it is Zaha, not Zoe. But fair enough, I'll give you points on that. This is the mastermind of an architect who is brilliant with the sustain uh, with sustainable work. Zaha, these are the answer. Plus ten to you, Rishi. Very, very good answer, and you've got yourself back on the scoreboard. That's nice to see. Uh, yes, your buzzers are working, Rishi. Okay, next one. Easy peasy visual question. Identify an Indian organization behind these. Water ATM. Which Indian organization? And there's a nice logo there that is a very, very simple giveaway that I've left in the visual. Richie again on the buzzer. Yes, Richie. Is this a Ministry of Water? Aye, aye, aye. Next to the word water ATM, do you see a logo? A small little logo? Yeah. What is the uh, Pavan? Uh, Pavan, try. No points though. You can try Pavan. Uh, Jal Jeevan. Jal Jeevan. Yeah. Guys, really with this logo, I thought this logo was uh, almost giving the answer Swachh away. Bharat. No, not Swachh Bharat. This is the Sulab International. Yeah, there's a uh, behind is what you see is a Sulab toilet, and in front is what you saw see a water ATM. It's in the same complex. I mean, come on, guys. You should have seen the logo there. Both of you, Richie and Pawan. Okay, minus five to both of you. I hope uh, we've given them uh, those minus fives. Yes, I am. No. Okay. Yes, we've given them minus five. Moving on. Okay. So B one second. One second. Yeah. The one who consecutively buzz also get minus ten. Minus. Hey, five. sorry, sorry. Not Pawan. Not Pawan. Uh, can you give him back that plus five? Because uh, I just asked him to answer that question. Thank you for reminding me, Pawan. That's my bad. Uh, only the okay. first person gets a minus five. Okay, yeah, Harsh, uh, you are disconnected. Baba, can you just check your phone? Amal is also disconnected. Amal, can you also, uh, if if you all have put the sleep mode on your phone, you need to remove it because you're getting disconnected every time you do that. Okay, you all are back. Uh, Harsh, can you just press the buzzer? Pavan, uh, uh, Amal, Richie, okay, everybody's buzzers are working, cool, okay, next one, before I show you this question, I have a uh, request to you guys, don't overthink the answer, the answer is a very simple answer, okay, just try and see how you can answer this by thinking simple, don't think exquisite on this one, question number seven, here we go, what is the practice of tossing questionable items in the recycle bin? Hoping they can be recycled. That's the key part there. Hoping that they can be recycled. As much as uh, the want to reduce waste and recycle exists, this is a real threat to the success of any recycling program is what, is, what it says. If the, what is this practice called? What type of uh, recycling is this? If you're hoping you put things into the recycle bin. And Rishi, yes, Rishi. Just taking a guess, is this a wishful recycling? Sometimes guesswork is a good thing to do. This is wish recycling or aspirational recycling, whichever is a correct answer. Plus uh, 10 to you, Rishi. Good points on that. And that takes you to, have you given Rishi 5 points? I mean, sorry, 10 points? Oh, yeah, you were on 0. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, let me clear the buzzer. And the next one. It's a visual question. Identify this person for me by name. Just the name. Pawan, yes, Pawan. He's hit the buzzer and he's go and he's thinking. He was a uh, minister of what we say environment and climate thing. Bhupendra Yadav. Minus five. Rishi is nodding his head. Why, Rishi? You think this is R.K. Singh, uh, minister of uh, renewable resources, new and renewable resources? And his name is Rajkumar Singh or R.K. Singh. Uh, Good one. I can't give you points on that. Pavan went before you on the buzzer. Minus five is what you get, Pavan. But good attempt, Richie. I, I saw I, I saw the way he immediately started nodding his head saying, no, 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 that's not the right answer. But Pavan went faster than you on the buzzer. Next one. Text-based question on your screen. The concept and the name was developed by William E. Rees and Matthias Wackernagel in the 1990s at the University of British Columbia. What was this concept in the world of sustainability?
just as a clue, think about something that can be measured. Anybody? Oh, Richie, yes, on the buzzer, yes, Richie. Is it footprint? What? Ecological footprint. Uh, say that again. Uh, ecology or ecological footprint. He thought about it, thought about it. Then he used the word measure that I gave him. So he went on footprint. From there, he arrived at ecological. And from there, I arrive at a plus 10 for Richie. Very, very nice answer. Nicely worked out. Plus 10 to you. That takes you to 20. Uh, Pawan on 10. The other two of you, come on, you need to start scoring because if these guys run away with the quiz, then you very difficult to catch up with them. So please start scoring. Okay, neutralize the buzzer. Next one, slightly tough one. This is one of those tougher questions I like to have. And I need a specific answer. So if you're not sure of the specific answer, don't take a minus five is what I would say. Moving on to question number 10 on your screen. To facilitate the implementation of national bioenergy program under phase one, N MNRE has developed a single window platform to register and submit online applications for grant of central financial assistance to waste to energy projects. What is this platform called? If you're not sure, don't take that risk. If you've done some reading about uh, new and renewable energy from the, min from the ministry's website, then this is one of those things that is right there on the website because I know where I researched it from. <laughs> okay, no buzzers, no one going on the buzzer, fair enough. It's called the Bio Urja portal. Uh, Urja is a, a term that gets used a lot with uh, new and uh, renewable energy and Bio Urja portal is the uh, platform that they're utilizing as a part of this. Moving on to the next one, question number 11. You can either tell me what this is called. Uh, it's in Iceland. You can either tell me what this is called or you can tell me what is this used for. Either way, I'll give you points. It's Richie. Okay, Richie. Uh, so it is used to remove uh, CO2, maybe for carbon sequestration or something like that. What is it called? Uh, I have no clue. <laughs> it's called an orca. It's called an orca. It's uh, outside uh, Ragavik in Iceland. And it is used for carbon removal. It's a carbon removal plant. Plus 10 to you. Very, very nice answer. Nice beginning. He started off with a negative, but he slowly kept the momentum up right now. Rishi's on 30. Pawan on 10. Come on, guys. The rest of you need to buck up. Moving on to question number 12. And before that, I need to clear the buzzer. Question number 12 is a text, uh, is a visual question, actually. Which broadcasting company is behind these awards? Or television company is behind these awards? Think international. Pawan, it is. Yes, Pawan. Is it ESPN? Minus five, not ESPN. Anybody uh, else wants to try? No points, negative or positive. Rishi, want to try? No. Everybody's nodding their head. Okay, I'll, let me give you the answer. This is the British Broadcasting Corporation or BBC. That's why I use the word broadcasting as a part of my question. I was hoping that would be a clue. Uh, they've la launched the f uh, their first uh, Sports Green Awards. And the idea of these awards is to celebrate those people in sports that have been helping to contribute towards a sustainable future. Very select category of people, but the amount of work that they have been doing is being recognized by the British Broadcasting Corporation. Moving on to the next one. Uh, here we go. Question number 13. This is a European environmental agreement that was uh, formed following several oil spills in 1969. Uh, the coastal nations of North Sea formed this to ensure mutual cooperation in avoidance and combating of environmental pollution. What agreement am I talking about? Five. It's a very easy answer, actually. Four, three, two. Oh, Harsh, finally, yes. Yes, Harsh. Is it born agreement? Are you asking me? Are you telling me, Harsh? I'm telling you. Plus 10 to you. Plus 10 to you. It is the born agreement. It is, was created following several oil spills that happened in Europe. Plus 10 to Harsh. He gets himself on the scoreboard. That's nice to see. Question 14, my penultimate question from segment one. Here we go. Which company has been ranked number one in the debut 2021 Capri Global Capital Harun India Impact 50, a list of top 50 companies headquartered in India based on their alignment 
with the 17 SDGs, which Indian company has been ranked number one? Nobody. Kn oh, okay, Pawan. Wipro. <laughs> okay, okay. I like I like the logic under which you went. Wipro is ranked uh, ranked on the list, but definitely, but not on number one. <coughs> The number one on that list is Gracium Industries. Gracium Industries are the ones that are number one on that list. And my last question, how quickly we moved on to the last question of the first segment. Here we go, coming up for you. The theme for India's G20 presidency also... Oh, 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 oh. Pawan on the buzzer. Yes, Pawan. Lifestyle, lifestyle for environment. He, when he started introducing himself he said i have prepared a little bit and i am hoping that luck would take me to where i want to be his preparation is definitely paying off lifestyle for environment is the right answer plus 10 to you power very very good answer that would take you to 20 on the board yeah no no, 10, no. 10, 10. oh you took two negatives correct 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 my bad so that's 10 uh that's the end of my first segment. Can we quickly have the scores, which we already see here, but let's take it, look at it in a bigger picture. 30 to Richie, 10 to Harsh, 10 to Pawan. Pawan, I think you should have been on 20, at least a 20. So the next segment, do not make unnecessary mistakes. And Richie, it's, all, uh, it's almost like watching a football match where you're leading 1-0. You understand the opposition can score to any time and overtake, right? So don't get into that scenario. Please score some more points so that Pawan can't catch up or Amal or pa Harsh also do not catch up. But Pawan, I am uh, on in this quiz because I've known Rishi longer and I've seen Rishi answer really nice questions. I am betting on you, Pawan, because I want you to score and see if you can catch up with Rishi. This fight is going to be really, really good fun. We will go on to the second of my segments right away. And... <laughs> Segment number two, Erdian Sustain Tech or Sustainable Technology. Ten questions from the world of sustainable technology. The only difference or variation in this segment is you will get uh, three questions as missing boxes questions, three questions which are lateral thinking questions, and four questions which are text or uh, visual based questions. Okay. The, uh, what you call the missing boxes is you will get a clue on top and you'll get boxes below. I would put a couple of letters in between so to help you answer the question better. Read the statement, try and see, and the number of boxes is the total number of letters in the answer. So, I hope you're not confused with it. It's almost like playing a crossword, but with just one word. I've uh, put in a couple of letters to help you answer the question better. Points remain the same, plus 10, minus 5. Only the first person gets a chance to answer the question. If everybody's ready, let's go on to the first of my questions in segment number 2. Here we go. The concept of green IT emerged in 1992 when they launched Energy Star, a voluntary labeling program that identifies products that offer superior energy efficiency. Who's on the buzzer? Rishi is on the buzzer. Yes, Rishi. Just taking a guess. Is this uh, US Environment Protection Act, US EPA? US EPA, he says. And I, I like how every time he seemed to be right this time, he's saying he's taking a guess. So I, I don't know if this is preparation turning into success or he's genuinely guessing so i don't know which one of the two that is but plus 10 to you plus 10 to you very very well done us epa is the right answer and plus 10 to rishi moving on to the next one question number two the point at which a product can no longer be used for its original purpose but may still be useful for something else what is this particular scenario called or point the point at which what is this a uh, name given to the such a situation at which a product can no longer be used for its original purpose but uh, may still be useful for something else what is this point it's almost like an inflection point nobody on the buzzer okay no one on the buzzer they're taking way too long okay no one's on the buzzer anybody wants to guess no points no, no, no. Okay. The point or the inflection point where this such a situation arises is called end of use. I put in words, letters there also. You should have tried that one. Okay. Third one, long answer, 
but an easy answer. Don't don't get confused with it. It's a very easy answer. I've cleared the buzzers out. Here we go. Question number three. A broad set of methods and technologies that aim to deliberately alter the climate system to alleviate the impacts of climate change. Nobody. I like how everyone's keeping their fingers off the buzzer. No one wants to risk it. There is a minus five. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, no buzzers. Anyone wants to try without them at least? No? Okay. The answer I was looking for is geoengineering. Geoengineering about climate system and impacts of climate change. I thought that was workable, but the uh, second segment has gotten a little crazy. No one wants, no, rather, no one wants to try out on questions. Okay. Next three questions are going to be lateral connections. You're going to get only two clues. Okay. And think of simple answers. They are not very complicated answers. Here we go. Question number one. Or rather, question number four. First one of the lateral connections. From the world of clean technology, sustainable technology, especially think transport. Think transport. I'm looking at a two-word answer. I'm not looking at anything complicated. Studebaker was, uh, was the company that were one of the earliest peoples to get in, uh, people to get into this. Okay, someone's gone in the buzzer. Rishi, yes. Just taking a guess. Is there something uh, related to biofuel, like waste to energy? Minus five. Minus five. Uh, Pavan, you were also on the buzzer, but he went faster than you. But what is the answer? Electric vehicles. Had you just been a second faster? Electric vehicles. Studebaker was the company that made one of the earliest electric vehicles and the K stands for uh, co uh, Connected, auto Autonomous, Shared and Electric. That is what the, the, the uh, oh, we've lost Harsh. We'll have to take a break. Harsh, can we have you back on the video? Just a second, just a second. Yeah. Only, yeah, Pawan, you need to hit yourself a little more harder than that. You have to be faster. Uh, that would have been uh, 10 points. That would have meant you are at 20. Rishi is 35. I've got uh, 1, 2, and 4. Six questions remaining. Oh, this can go either ways. Next one. All you need to tell me is a name of a country from this. It's a country. Okay? They, they, were, uh, they were part of the ISO 1434 Environmental Management uh, creation. And SCC is a part of that country. Pawan. Is it Stockholm? Aye. One, Stockholm is not a country, my friend. And uh, two, uh, SEC, actually, if you could have figured, uh, waited for it and tried to understand, uh, is Standards Council of Canada. So it is Canada as a country that was involved in the uh, legislation of the ISO 1434, as well as that is the logo of uh, the Standards Council of Canada. Minus five. Unnecessary risk power, but you had to take that risk. Not that you had a chance. There are one plus four, five questions. That means 50 points still available. Rishi is at 35. Which way this goes? Unless Pawan decides that he is going to put on his Dhoni cap and go for the next five balls out of the ground. The, this could sway Rishi's way, but again, Rishi could answer himself. A really good quizzer, so he could do that himself. Next one, next lateral thinking question. It was uh, developed by uh, at oh sorry sorry sorry, sorry 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 yeah thank you thank you for telling me that uh, this was developed by at Hewlett Packard and it was uh, first uh, commercially available in 1968. Howard Borden and Gerard Pigini were the ones who created or rather developed this commercially useful product which we all use today helps us in saving electricity Pawan on the buzzer he is going for it yes is it a six or is it caught on the boundary what's going to happen solar minus five not solar 68 Pawan at least the year should 68 HP uh, anybody else wants to try no no one wants to try L E D 
LED lamps were created at HP by ha Howard Bowden and Gerard Pigini. It's something that you get to learn. The idea of this quiz, though, is not only about answering questions, making points, and winning prize money, of course, but the beauty of it is also that you get to learn something new. And I think uh, you, uh, that from that expression of Pawan's face, I'm pretty sure he will remember for the rest of his life that LED was made at HP, and I lost five points on that. No, but very, very good quizzing, Pawan. I like the way you think. That's very nice quizzing. Okay, let me clear the buzzer. Uh, next one, this is straightforward. Here we go. What are these C bins used for? Pawan, faster. Yes, Pawan. You have to unmute. Plastic waste. Sorry? Plastic waste. From where? C. <laughs> it's called a C bin, so it has to be C, sir. I mean, come on. It's so simple. Yes. I just wanted you to say it also. This is... Uh, they pump in top level, a uh, top layer, 10 mm of top layer water. It goes through a filtration system where plastic waste is removed from the sea. And this is not even directly at the sea. It is from uh, off the sea to make sure that there's no disturbance to uh, animal life, etc. This is a removal of plastic oh, waste. Yeah. Very, very good answer, Pawan. Plus 10 to you. That brings you back to oh, 10 again. Your journey is literally between that 0, 5, 10. Go back 0, 5, 10. If you got those answers right, I think you would have almost been on 50 or 60 points by now. Come on, Pawan, you can do this. I'm going to neutralize this. I still have one, two, three, three more questions. This quiz can go anywhere. Here we go. This product from Microsoft has been carbon neutral from 2012 and aims for 100% renewable power data centers by 2025, with plans to be carbon negative by 2030. It also expects to remove all carbon created by its energy use by 2050. Which product from Microsoft is this? And very, very clear part there is 100% renewable powered data centers by 2025. So that should... Okay, Richie, going for this. I'm taking guess is this uh, by data center Azure cloud service of Microsoft? Uh, uh, sp uh, spell that for me. Is it you are Microsoft is your I, cloud? I say data centers. He picks on that fact and he uses that very well to get himself 10 points. Good answer. Very, very good answer. Pawan, were you even thinking about Azure as an answer? Uh, I kind of think, but I didn't. Got to know the Azure. Ah, you didn't go. At least Rishi took that risk, and sometimes that risk is just such a breather. Because at 35 with three questions remaining, had Pawan scored all all three of them, he, it would have uh, taken Pawan to 40, and Rishi would have been just on that finish line, still waiting to see what would happen, and he would have lost. But this answer, very very good answer, ensures that Rishi has gone to that point where no one can catch up with him. Very good effort, Rishi. And I will go on to my last two questions. Here we go. FIP is a price-based incentive mechanism for renewable energies, thanks to which the producer is awarded a pre-established premium on the market price of energy. What does FIP stand for? Anybody? Okay, no one wants to risk this. Uh, you do realize, uh, Pawan and Rishi, I'm sorry, Pavan and Harsh, that I will have to do one uh, tiebreaker for you guys. So don't make me do tiebreakers. Try and score one of them as uh, so so that I can I can not do a tiebreaker. I'm just being lazy. I'm not asking you not to take negatives, but I will just move on to the next question. The answer to this though is feed in premium. Feed in premium. F I P. So the uh, it is a price based initiative mechanism. We're at the uh, starting part itself. So it's feed in premium. That, that would have been what would have been the answer there. And the last one, question 10. What is this ISO used for? Anybody? Okay, nobody going on this. Uh, one more element that you get to learn at this quiz. ISO uh, 10711 uh, 10, is used for intelligent traffic systems. So that is what ISO 10711 
is used for and that brings me to the end of the first quarter final an interesting one an exhilarating one i'm not sure but a definitely an interesting one pawan i'm really really appreciative of that effort and uh, this is your first time taking part in this quiz yes sir very first time of the quiz reaching the quarter final had he luck gone his way perhaps he would have given rishi a run for his money for sure but ladies and gentlemen rishi from iim ahmedabad with 45 points wins this quarter final and becomes the first qualifier to the semi finals of the wipro earth and sustainability quiz the 8th edition congratulations rishi best of luck pawan for your uh, i'm hoping you're going to be taking part next year Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Okay. I hope that's not a half baked sure because I I really think you've put in the time and effort to read up on things. So next year possibly you've given more effort and you can qualify to the next rounds. Uh, Amal and uh, Harsh, thank you for taking part. Very very good effort. And one last time, Rishi, congratulations. I hope you understand that uh, this being the quarter final isn't as tough as the semi final. You know, you remember from last year how tough it is. Uh, that's how I like to play it. The further ahead we go in the game. the tougher it gets so please come better prepared for the semi final you know what a lineup that will be or that would be really fierce and competitive and as for me i'm lloyd sildana signing off from here it's been a wonderful quiz thank you for being a very patient audience and i hope you've learned something along with us at the wipro earth and sustainability quiz 8th edition see you till next time